Hello, welcome to Strong Flow Vinyasa Yoga. And today we're going to build up to a lively practice, what I like to call a soulful practice, as we go through a dancing warrior flow variation. We'll also be doing the dancer um, balance challenge. And then I'm going to um, give you a different option in the dancer for those that are ready. And um, yeah, we're going to get into the hips and we're going to get into it. Um, blocks you may want, especially for the addition um, and dancer that I may give you. Um, or when we're doing the dancing warrior slower form, um, if you want to use that to deepen your practice, you certainly can. All right, let's get started. So coming into a nice comfy seat, whatever that looks like for you. Zipping up from pubic bone to behind the navel, belly button into the spine. Light tuck in the chin, ears, shoulders, and hips in alignment. And just take a moment here to settle in and soften anywhere that maybe you could soften just a little bit more. And once you've softened, just notice the breath for a moment. And then we're going to take this into a box breath, the box breath. So we're going to stay with the number four today, meaning we're going to inhale for four, hold for four, exhale four, and hold for four. So it's like just like a little box with the breath. So if you want to use the Ujjayi Pranayama here, that back of the throat constriction breathing on your inhale and exhale, please feel free. I cannot talk and do Ujjayi at the same time, but you are welcome to incorporate that in. So from here, sitting nice and tall for our breath work. Nice big exhale to prepare. And we inhale. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, retain. Two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. Last one, two, three, four, exhale. One, well, I totally messed that up. Just keep going with your box breathing. Hold it for four and exhale. One, two, three, four, last hold. One, two, three, four. Four. Apologies about that. There, good. And big exhale and inhale, normal breath. Good. And then from here, palms to the side, palms turning up, inhale, reaching. I know what it is. My neighbor's cat is trapped into my garage for the second time in a week and turning that back down. I don't want to open the garage because he's been missing for a while. So later we're going to have them over. We're going to see if we can coax him out. Good. And take that back down. Good. And then just bring the hands to heart center, creating an intention. So my intention is that the cat that's in the garage is actually my neighbor's cat. And he will come out when they come over. So the lost get found. And actually, that's a, that's a nice intention. The lost getting found. And you can apply that in a myriad of ways. And then from here, when you're ready, we'll each and reach and take that over to the left. And move through center, take it over to the right. And we'll move that back through the um, other side and reach. Now you can stay right here. You can side bend deeper. You can choose to open up towards the ceiling or tilting the pelvis back, scooping in that belly button, getting a nice little C curve roll. Forehead in the direction of the knee, but not touching, really reaching with this arm. So always doing what you need to do on this side in this moment. And inhale will open, moving through center, taking it back to the other side. So again, you can stay here 
You can slide them deeper. You can open to the ceiling. You can find that T curve roll. And what you need on this side might not be what you did on the other side right now. So take it where you need to take it. Sometimes I need a T curve roll to get into a specific spot on my back. Other times I need to open up to the ceiling. So just do what you need to do here. And opening up and moving through center and reach. And let's rotate to the left, taking arms down, rolling shoulders back, looking a little bit more behind you. Breathing and expanding. And lifting up, rotating other side, rolling shoulders back, looking a little bit more behind you. And lifting up and coming back to center. So we're gonna take this into a spinal roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn sideways just so you can see this just a little bit better here. Good. And so you can be crisscross applesauce. I am going to have my hands on my knees and my arms are gonna stay long the whole time here. So I'm gonna use my legs and arms to give me a little bit of leverage. So as I start to roll that spine, notice how I'm also rolling that pelvis with it. Good, I'm keeping the arms straight as best as I can on both sides. And it doesn't matter what side you start with, because we're going to do both directions. Good. And open. And roll. Good. And let's reverse that. And just really allow yourself to get in there. Kind of think about it a little bit as a dance. We're going to the dancer and dancing warrior flow here in a little bit. Good. And then from here, coming back up. Good. I'm going to reach up nice and tall. And I'm just going to come right forward here, right into all fours. So cushion those knees as you need to. And I'm actually going to do that here because we're going to be on our knees here for a little bit longer. Good. So spreading the fingers nice and wide. Rooting through the knuckles of the pinky pointer and thumb. And now you can also do this um, cat cow on your forearm. Forearms can also be on block. Tops of the feet are down. My belly button is in. Inhale, I'm going to take that chest forward, tipping the pelvis back. Nice cow pose. Exhale, pressing away in round. Mad cat pose, looking towards the knees. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Now, you can stay with that. I'm going to give you some other options. We've got semicircle cat cow. Inhale on the cow. Exhale as you round through cat. Sink down on one hip. Moving through center. Rolling up onto that other side. And then reversing direction. So that's option two. And then option three, the dynamic cat cow flow. Inhaling on the cow. Exhale, rounding, sinking back. Good. Little child pose, forearms drop. As you shift forward, keep the elbows into the side of the body as they lift. Just a little push up as you go right into that cow pose. So take a moment here exploring yours, which might be different than what I'm doing. You can stay with one. You can do a combo of two, a medley of all three, and be mindful that as long as it feels good to your body and you've got a good breath going here, that you're likely doing it right. Because this is just about loosening up and doing some feel-good stuff here. So if it doesn't feel good, don't stay with it. Do something else. And then when you're ready, good. Coming back to tabletop. Now, find a child pose here. Knees can be together as wide as the matter somewhere in between. Taking arms long in front of you. Forehead can come to a block, a blanket, a pillow, the floor, whatever it is that it can reach to. Hands can also come back by the ankles if your shoulders need to just release here. Zipping up from pubic bone to behind the navel, breathe and expand. Good. 
So knowing that you can come to this pose at any time you want during this class, it's a nice break pose. But when you're ready, hands are gonna come underneath the shoulders. We're gonna press up. Good. And we're gonna come to some opposite arm, opposite leg. So I'm gonna take my left leg back here. Good. Before I lift, I'm just gonna let that left hip drop a little bit. So we don't want the hip to be hiked up. We want to try to keep the hips even to the floor, even hips. So once I've got that, maybe I lift a little bit. You can lift up the hip height, but don't let the um, back dip here. So you still wanna be nice and lifted. And then right arm can come forward. Really push that floor away with that left shoulder. Breathe, reach. Notice what's firing up in both the front and the back of the body. Hands gonna come down, knees gonna come down. Other side, the right foot's gonna come back. So get the hip situated first. Belly button stays in, we'll lift. Good, press the floor away, left arm comes forward. Good. Breathing. Good. And then we'll take this down. So from here, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna add a diagonal onto it this time. So left leg comes back, goes to your limit. Good. Pressing up, take it to the diagonal. The toe can come down here if you need it to. Good. Building a little bit of heat. Coming back center, taking that down. Other side, taking it back, reach. And to the diagonal. And coming back. Good. Now, coming back here, maybe decompressing. We're going to take this into an all fours version of dancer, um, if you want to think about it that way. So from all fours, good. I'm going to take that left leg back. I'm going to bend that left knee. I'm going to reach my left hand around. Maybe I reach, maybe I don't. Good. And I'm squeezing the left glute. My left knee is in. And I'm gonna take that left foot to the ceiling. So it's not about pressing the hand and foot into each other if you're bound with all of your might. That puts a lot of strain on the low back. It's about squeezing the glute and just lifting the foot. Once I figured that out, it was a game changer for me with a lot of back bending binds. And we'll release and taking that down. And we'll take that to the other side. So right foot's gonna come back. I'm gonna lift. I'm going to bend. I'm going to reach around with the opposite hand. Good. Good. I'm going to bring that knee into the midline. I'm squeezing my right glute. I'm going to take the right foot straight up towards the ceiling. And this is one that if you're like facing the mirror, looks kind of freaky because it looks like your foot is growing out of the back of the head. Nice Halloween image. Good, and release, and take that down one more time. Find a little child's pose here to decompress. And when you're ready, we're gonna find our way into downward facing dog. So from the down dog, if you're taller, take a half a hand's width or full hand's width forward. If you're shorter, stay here. We're still spreading the fingers wide, rooting through the knuckles with pinky, corner, and thumb. I'm gonna tuck my toes, shift my hips back, I'm pressing in and forward into the mat as I lift my knees and lift my hips. Don't move my knee cushion out of the way here. Good. So find your good down dog form. As I'm pressing in and rooting into those knuckles, I'm turning my elbows forward. Shoulders are away from the ears. I'm pressing in equally into my big toe and pinky toe mouth of the feet. Hips, knees, and toes are relatively in good alignment. And then you can choose lifting the heel, lowering the heel, Bending the knees, lifting the knees, walking your dog one leg at a time. My belly button is in. Ears are by the biceps, so my gaze is to my toes. I really, really like the sensation of drawing up from the pubic bone to behind the navel here. It really gives me a really deep transverse abdominus connection. And then from here, I'm going to take my heels long. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Good. Walk, step, or hop the feet forward to meet the hands. 
Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Hands to four block tens or thighs, long spine. Exhale, little bow. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding breath, mountain, and tension. Good. All right. So pull up my pants here, pull down my shirt. Good. Let's take this right into some sun salutes here. Um, we'll do a few modified ones and then a full. So zipping up nice and tight. Big inhale and reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. From here, I'm going to step my right foot back. Good. I'm going to let that right knee come down. I'm going to lengthen the torso. Let's take it up and reach. And then bring that back down. Right hand comes to the floor to a block. Opening to the left. Taking that down, opening to the right, taking that down, planting the hands, tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee, front foot steps back, knees down or lifted. Find your version of a flow if you're taking it. Remember, you can always skip the flow and go right to down dog or a child's pose, or you can hang out in a plank. From the down dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Stepping the left foot back, lowering that left knee. Good. Find your stability as you rise. And lowering back down. Left hand to the block or to the floor, open to the right. Bringing that right hand down. Open to the left, bringing that right hand down. Good, tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee front, foot steps back, you choose. Take or skip a flow. From your down dog when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Before we go into the next one, let's do a little spinal flexion. Take a temple mudra here and reach. Belly button is in and get a nice little TikTok. So in this version, we're going to get into all movements of the spine. Right now, we're doing lateral flexion, side to side. Good. We're getting ready to go into some flex in here and reach and exhale and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, plant the hand. Good. Right foot's going to step back, lowering that back knee, zipping up and reach. And coming back down. Right hand comes down to the floor, open to the left. So here's the twist. And taking it down, twisting in the opposite direction, taking it down. Planting the hands, tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee front, foot steps back. You choose take or skip a flow. So if you're doing a cobra or an up dog here, now you're taking the spine into extension. From down dog when you're ready. Inhale, look forward, bending the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway, long spine. Exhale, roll out. This time, left foot steps back. Left knee lowers down. Good. Find a little low balance challenge. And coming back down. Left hand lowers. Open to the right. Right hand lowers. Open to the left. Taking that down. Tucking the back toe. Lifting the back knee. Front foot steps back. You choose. Take or skip that flow. From down dog when you're ready. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hand. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, and bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding breath, mountain, and tension. Let's take just a couple 
more traditional stem salute A here, or more modern ones, I should maybe say it that way. Good, so from here, big inhale and reach. Exhale and hold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and bow. Inhale, plant the hand. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Always skip the flow if you can't keep the shoulders away from the ears. You don't want to collapse. From down dog when you're ready. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. And exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, root through the feet. Engage the glutes. Rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one. Inhale and we lift. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. And finding a nice down dog. Come back to that nice down dog form. Remember, elbows turn more forward. Shoulders away from the ears. From down dog when you're ready. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Fighting breath. Mountain intention. Remember, a little bit of softness in the knees. All right. Let's go into a little bit of a tear flow here as we start to prep for da Dancing Warrior. So for this one, I'm going to encourage you to be about hip width apart here. So right where your hip bones are, hip, knees, and toes track forward. Arms are going to come up. Big inhale. Exhale. We'll sit back into the chair. Relaxing shoulders. Get into the heels. Get into the glutes. Almost make it like if you're pressing into the floor, like you're trying to rip your mat apart sideways. So you get this nice outer connection here. Good. Now press through the heels. We're going to come all the way up. Good. Press through the heels as you come down. Find that outer engagement. Press and come back up. And we'll take it back again. And press and come back up. Now you can add the arms with it if you'd like. I like to inhale on the lift. Exhale on the down. And keep those heels and glutes engaged. Back stays long. Now, you can pick this up a little bit here. As long as you don't take it wild, you want to stay in good form. So watch those knees. Watch those arms. What I mean by wild is no control here. So be in control. And then we'll sit back in the chair. You can stay right here, or maybe you can come in a little bit deeper. Good. So for this full tier where the thigh is parallel or mostly parallel to the floor, your heels are grounded. Now hands to the floor to the blocks. We're going to lift. Coming out of there. Exhale and bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose take or skip a flow. I'm going to skip this one. From here, left leg's going to lift three points, bending that knee, round as you step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Warrior prepping the back leg, 45-ish degrees. Be stable as you rise. We're going to open right into warrior two, okay? Do so you have a heel to heel, heel to arch, so this leg can be at a little bit wider alignment. Front hip's going to come back. Good. Hip, knee, and toe track. Knee is over or behind the ankle. Relax the shoulders. Good. Good. Now nice and slow and controlled with a bent front knee or a lengthened front leg. Take this back into exalted. Notice how my hips don't shift as I take it back to exalted. If you'd like to arm bind or wrap here, feel free to do so. Be strong in the feet, strong in the leg. Come back to intention. May those that are lost be found or whatever it is that you want to choose. We'll come back to warrior two. Good. So from here, pressing through the back, we're going to take this into extended side angle. I'm going to lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Some of you are going to take a forearm here. You might bring a block in here, any height, and open up. Good. Really open up to the right. You're in a twist here. And maybe reaching overhead. 
Breathing. Arms going to come up, look down at that front foot. You can keep a bend in the knee or lengthen that leg and come back. Again, my hips do not shift. Inhale, exhale, finding your warrior two. Watch that front knee tracking. And here we go into a humble warrior, humble warrior. So humble warrior, hands are going to come behind. They can just rest back here. They can clasp. You can press down. You can roll back and lift. Find yours. I'm going to lengthen as I come on the inside here. It's also okay if you need to take a hand down here for support. Then take a hand down here for support. My shoulders don't want to open up right now, so I'm just going to keep them right where they are. Good. Breathing, getting into the abs and the feet. I'm going to come back up. Warrior two. Finding an exalted warrior. Good. And then coming back to warrior two. Make it your best one on this side because it probably will be. Remember, front hip comes back. Inhale, exhale, cartwheel that down. Good. Swivel up the back foot. Front foot steps back. You choose. Take or skip a flow. It's always okay to come to the knees. From that downward facing dog when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk. Step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, root, engage and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to do that all to the other side. I'm going to come to the other side here. Good. So from here, we're going to start with the chair again. The chair floats, so we're hip width apart. Arms are going to come up. Good. Sit back, find your chair. Good. Now remember, you can just stay here. You can um, press up and just come back to the chair. You can take the arms with it. You can take it a little bit more vigorous. As long as you can keep good form, You're pressing through the heel, engaging the glutes, hips, knees, and toes are tracking. You're in control of the arms if you're moving them. Good. And then finding a chair, or it's full here, and then folding forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, and bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Once you're in that down dog, right leg is going to lift three points, bending the knee. Round the spine as you can it, or pick up and put the right foot forward between the hands. Find your warrior prep, 45-ish degrees. Find your stability and your strength as you open up. Remember, front hip's going to come back here. Chest opens, and we reach. Good. Good. With the bent front knee or lengthen front leg, find exalted without shifting the hips. You can arm bind or wrap here. You did that on the other side. And coming back up and reach. Good. Lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. Forearm to the thigh or hands to a block. You can open up, opening up to the left side now. To the left side now. Maybe reaching overhead. And when you're ready, coming back up. Good. Maybe taking it back into exalted. Back into that warrior two. Good. We'll find that humble warrior now. So hands can come behind. You can clasp them. You can leave them here. Find what you need. Rolling shoulders back. Good. Find your humble warrior. Remember, you can always take that hand down if you need to. Try to keep shoulders away from the ears. And pressing through, finding the warrior two. Finding exalted. 
and finding warrior two. From your warrior two, cartwheel that down. Swivel up the back foot, front foot steps back. You two take or skip a flow. Good. Now, from your down dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right. We're going to take that a little bit quicker through our dancing warrior flow. And so what that will look like, I'll do this um, real quick. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good. And take it down. So we're moving with the breath. Um, take out any component that you need and it will be all good. So let's do this as a flow. So we're gonna go right into the other side after we do um, the left side first. So I will not be turning around for that. So apologies for the view, but you can still be able to follow. So from here, big inhale and reach. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, plant the hand. Step or hop back to plank. You two take or skip your flow. From down dog, left leg lifts three point, bending that knee. Step or pick up and put the left foot forward between the hands. Warrior prepping the back foot. When you're ready, open up, find your warrior two, find it in good form. And here we go. Inhale, exhale, exalted. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, exalted. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, humble. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, exalted. Inhale, warrior two. One more time. Exhale, exalted. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, exalted. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, humble. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, exalted. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel it down. Swivel up, front foot steps back, take or skip the flow. From down dog, right leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee. Step or pick up and put that foot forward. Warrior press, rise, finding warrior two. Here we go, inhale, exhale exalted. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale extended, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, exalted. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, humble. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, exalted. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, find that extended. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, exalted. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, humble. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, exalted. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel it down. Swivel up, step back, take or skip a flow. I love Dancing Warrior series. If I'm working on something and I'm starting to kind of get tired or lose concentration, I will do that flow real quick. And I'm right back to being energized and back in my groove. So from the downward facing dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, roll bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain, intention. All right, let's prep the left side for dancer, or the right side, rather. We're going to stand on the left foot. So from here, coming up, and we'll fold. Inhale, lift, and lengthen halfway. Exhale, we'll bow. From the spouse, step that right foot back. Really reach it back there. The right knee is going to come down. Good. Now I'm going to bring a block in here on my right side. Good. So you can stay down on your blocks. You can come right here. Good. Otherwise, I'm going to take my right hand to my block. My left hand is going to be on my thigh. And I'm going to turn to my left. Good. 
Maybe sinking a little bit deeper if that's accessible. I'm gonna bend that back knee. Maybe you can reach your pants, your foot, a toe, something. Maybe you decide to roll onto the edge of the left foot. Your right elbow will bend here. And releasing as you come back. Good, I'm gonna grab my other block. Good, half split pose here, lengthen. If you know you've got more depth than that, Left hamstring, you can walk your blocks or your hands more forward, finding length. And then bringing that back in, coming back in, placing blocks forward, good, lift that back knee, front foot's gonna step back, inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, roll back, and root engage and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, taking it into dancer. So we're gonna um, open up into sugar cane, I think is what it's called, for those of you that wanna try that one. So um, it's kind of like you need to almost be able to do a, um, a half moon in order to open up. So I've got a block here for me, um, just in case I need that. But my left leg's gonna be my supporting leg. It's gonna track hip me into forward. The left arm's gonna come up. Right arm's gonna roll back. I'm gonna bend that right knee. For some of you, this might be it. Others might be able to bind. Good. Knee's gonna be into the midline. Good. Now I'm gonna squeeze my right glute as I take my right foot straight back. And then from here, I'm gonna come forward a little bit. For many people, this is gonna be the end of your dancer. For those of you that wanna try the bonus, good, hand's gonna come to a block. And then you're just gonna open up here. Good. And then maybe if you want to, wasn't part of my original plan, but if you want to release with control, good. Now you're in a half moon. Woo. And then from here, when you're ready, good. We can bend and take that foot back down. Take a fold. We're gonna take that all to the other side, folks. So from here, big inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Don't foul, just bow. Good. Left leg's going to reach back. I'm going to need a knee cushion on this side today, so I'm going to bring that in. Good. Good. So left knee's going to lower down. Good. And I'm just going to lengthen. Good. I'm going to bring in my block on the left side. Good. Coming up, right hand is on the right side. Good. So same here. It opening to the right. Good. Maybe you should decide to bend or bind. Maybe you want to open up a little bit here. Releasing with control, coming back, maybe grabbing that other block. Get hinging back, find that half split pose, find the length. If you want to have a little bit more depth, you can take the blocks more forward. And I just caught myself here. So anytime we're doing something like this, watch this foot. You want the foot to be kind of like it's standing on a wall or propped up against something. So I have this habit pattern where it wants to kind of turn inward here. Try not to let it do that. Be aware of what your body's doing. And then from here, I'm gonna come back up. Good, I'm gonna bend the knee in, tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee, good. And then I'm gonna step that back foot forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, roll bow. And root engage and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, we're gonna take that dancer all to the other side. So I'm just gonna kind of move over here. Good, all right. So now my right leg is gonna be the supporting leg, hip knee and toe drop forward. The right arm's gonna reach up, rolling left shoulder back, bending that left knee, maybe grabbing something here. Knee's gonna come in towards the midline. I'm zipped up through that front body. I'm squeezing the left glute as I take my left foot behind me. This might be it for some. Good, a little bit of a forward hinge here might be it for others. Those of you that are gonna go into that little bonus, maybe hand comes to a block. 
oops, I'm not as stable on this side. This is my weaker side. And then maybe opening up to the left, to the left. Notice how my supporting leg is still pointing forward. Maybe you can release. Finding that half moon over here. And then when you're ready, coming back down and pressing all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Hips should be nice and open now. Let's take this to the floor. Big inhale and reach. Exhale and hold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and roll back. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. Take or skip the last of this class. And then once you've made it to the down dog, drop, find a nice juicy child's pose here. Nice juicy child's pose. Notice how it compares to that very first one that we did together in class. You can let the core go here, but stay with your breath. Re-examine or come back to your intention. Make those that are lost, we found. In whatever way you want to interpret that. Or whatever intention it was that you chose. And then from here, hands under the shoulders. Good, I'm going to come up. Good, I'm just going to take my feet around here. We're going to come right onto the back. So right onto the back. So as you come back here, just roll the shoulders back a little bit here. Just finding a little bit more opening through the shoulders. Good. And then from here, we're going to come into um, a little bit of a lengthening thing. So I'm just going to take my hands behind my knees. Good. As I pull them in towards the shoulder, good. I'm finding length from crown to tail. And while we're here, let's roll those ankles around. And then the other direction. Good. And we'll paddle through. Good. Now from here, I'm going to take this into a supine body kanasana. So I'm holding onto my feet. My heels are coming towards the groin. My knees are coming out to the side. If that's too intense for you, or maybe, you know, you've got a body part that just doesn't like that, then come into a happy adult. So your feet won't touch. Your knees are still bent. And you can hold the shins of the ankle. It's the same hip opener, but it's less intense on certain joints. So just kind of be mindful as to where you are or need to be. Now choosing to stay here longer or taking legs up towards the ceiling. Good. So you're going to um, support yourself where you need to support. That might be outside the thigh, the shins. You might be someone who can grab the feet or yogi toe and just open out to the side here. Get a nice inner thigh stretch. And I think about it as a wide leg forward fold. And then we'll bring that back in and bend the knees. Good. We're going to take the right ankle over that left knee. Find a figure four here. You can stay here. You can bring it into the chest. You can kind of thread it through. Find yours, upper body's grounded today. It's always okay to rock your figure four if you'd like. And then I'm gonna keep that left or the right ankle where it is. I'm gonna bring that foot down. Now, I'm gonna do a figure four bridge here. If you know that a one leg bridge of any kind is not for you, Undo and take that foot down and you'll bridge that way. Otherwise, I'm gonna roll my shoulders back. I'm pressing arms and shoulders into the mat. As I press into my foot, I'm pressing into my hands and shoulders as I lift up. And bringing that back down. Good, arms are gonna go out to the side. Figure four twist to the left. Keeping right shoulder grounded as I look to the right. And using the abs to come back in. Good, undo the feet. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle side to side. Belly button's in when you're doing that. Good, gotta protect that low back. And when you're ready, we're gonna do that all to the other side. 
So bringing everything back in line with the hips. The left ankle crosses over the right knee. You can stay here. You can bring it into the chest. You can thread it through. Find it where you need to find it. Okay to rock it. When you're ready, good. We'll keep that ankle where it is. We'll bring that back down. Good. So again, you can follow me through a figure four bridge or undo and take both feet to the floor. So getting shoulders and arms ready. I'm going to press into the foot, the arms and the shoulders, and I'm going to press up. Figure four bridge. Keeping the hips even here. And bringing that back down. Good. I can take arms to the side, letting everything go to the right. Figure four twist, looking to the left, keeping left shoulder grounded. Breathe and expand. Head back to center, use your abs, bring it all back in. And do feet as wide as the mat, and we'll wiggle, wiggle, wiggle side to side here. And from here, my friends, we bring the knees into the chest to give it a nice hug. We're going to go right into Shavasana from here. So you can choose any props that you may have that you want to bring in. I'm going to use my folded blanket here as a little bit of a neck pillow. Good. You can keep the knees bent. You can let everything come along. You can be on your side, you can be on your belly, be where you can be, where you're not in a fidgety space for a few moments. And as you think into the space, return to your intention one more time. And as you're ready, taking some deep breaths here. Choose stillness. Or gently take head and neck from side to side. Maybe inviting movement of the fingers and the toes. Choosing stillness. We're taking knees into the chest, choosing to keep the upper body grounded, or maybe tucking the chin, lifting up, finding a full body hug. And choosing stillness, or moving any props out of the way if you used any here. Extending legs long in front of you, arms long behind you, get a nice full body stretch from the fingers to the toes, pointing and flexing through the feet. Bending and stretching through the hands, twirling wrists and ankles in one direction, and then in the other. And then from here, when you're ready, bending in both knees, and you choose rolling over to the right or left side, the side that works best for your body in this moment. Taking all the time that you need here. And when you're ready, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat where we started our practice. Finding that nice tall seat. Noticing how you feel. Fingertips to the side, palms turning up, and we'll lift. Touching palms together. As you bring them down, stop those thumbs right at the forehead for good and true thought. To the lips for good and kind words. And to the heart for open and loving heart. Knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted. No gain is ever reversed. May you be safe. May you stay well. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope to see you again really soon. Namaste.